Human reproductive organs. In this video, we're going to focus on the male reproductive system, and in the next video, we're going to look at the female reproductive system. And this is all for GCSE biology, by the way. So the male and female reproductive organs, they are adapted for their function. They're specifically adapted. So adapted means like changing themselves so that they can do their job as efficiently as possible. Okay. The male organs are adapted to produce sperm, right? Males produce sperm and the sperm enters the female and that's how fertilization occurs. The female organs are adapted to receive the sperm that the males produce and then enable the baby to grow and develop within them, pregnancy. So let's look at the male reproductive system. This is the front view, so as if you were standing in front of a man, and this is the view from the side, as if you were standing on the left or the right side of a man. So, over here we have the testes. Testes hang outside of the penis. We have the scrotum, and the scrotum contains the testes that are outside the main body. So this is the scrotum, right? The testes is where the sperm are, is made, and the scrotum contains the testes, and it holds the testes together outside of the main body. Now, there's a, there's a really important reason why these testes are held outside the main body. It's because scrotum, for sperm production to occur, the temperature needs to be slightly cooler, like one or two degrees cooler than body temperature. Hence, they're held outside so that they can be cooler, right? Obviously, they're going to be cooler if you're outside, not hotter. Well, maybe if you live in the desert, I don't know. <laughs> it's two degrees, two degrees cooler here, which is optimum. It's the optimum temperature for sperm production. If it's the same temperature as the body, it may not produce sperm as efficiently or sperm may not produce. The vas deferens. It's also called the sperm duct. You don't need to know vas deferens. I think it's like French or something. Just know that it's a sperm duct. And the sperm duct is a muscular tube where sperm mixes with fluids from the glands, which forces them along during ejaculation. So during intercourse, sperm is going to be exiting the body, right? So the sperm duct is where the sperm mixes with fluids, causing the semen to come out. The glands produce a liquid that is added to the sperm, which combined together is called the semen. So the sperm, which is the male reproductive cells that combine with the female's ovaries, oh uh, sorry, ova, to combine into a baby, right? The semen itself is the entire fluid that the male produces as a whole. So this, this, this semen doesn't just include sperm, but also other things. And this liquid provides the sperm with nutrition, so it can maybe run and win the race, as we all know. Urethra. The urethra is the tube running down the center of the penis, penis, so that it can carry out urine or sperm. So the urethra, so it's going to be right, it's going to be like a tube going right along the, near the center of the penis, so that during ejaculation, semen can exit. But also, males also pee through this same organ, right? So this has double functions. It can either carry sperm, and it can also carry urine. And there's a ring of muscle in the urethra over here, so that stops the urine from mixing in with semen. You wouldn't want urine coming out when you're doing intercourse, right? And vice versa, when you're in the bathroom, you don't want semen coming out, right? So this urethra controls what enters, what exits, sorry, what exits, so either sperm, semen, or urine. The penis is what passes the urine out from the bladder or semen into the vagina. So during intercourse, this penis will enter the woman's vagina. So this can either uh, release sperm, and this could also release urine when you need to go to the bathroom. The bladder is what stores the urine and, is as it, and it is connected to the urethra so that you can release urine, right? This has nothing to do with semen or sperm production. It's purely for exiting urine and stores the urine, by the way. So as a whole, let's take a look at everything. You, I would recommend drawing a diagram of this. Drawing it would be pretty hard, so you should print it out and try to annotate it so that you can best memorize it. The bladder, what stores the urine? Seminal vesicles. So this is what uh, moves the sperm. The sperm duct produces the sperm here. The prostate gland. I think I kind of forgot what the prostate gland did, so let's take a look. And remember, it's normal to forget everything, so it's okay. The glands produce a liquid that is added to the sperm. So sperm and the semen added together. Sperm and other liquids added together as a whole is called the semen. And that's the semen is produced in the prostate gland. The penis entering the woman during intercourse or releasing urine. Urethra, the tube that carries the sperm or urine. The testes. And this produces the sperm here. And remember, it's like two degrees cooler, so that for optimal sperm production. And the scrotum, which houses 
the testes outside of the main body so that it can be cooler. And that is pretty much it for the male reproductive system. Highly recommend to watch this video again so that you know fully well, 100% all the roles of these different functions in the male reproductive system and try to annotate it. Thanks for watching this one.